So I'm going to take the LCD off this Mega Tracker. Now we can see the pull up solder jumpers, which are located in this row along here. So I want to connect a thermistor sensor to port zero. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of extra solder here, get a bead jumping across there, and so that pull-up resistor is now set. So obviously I wouldn't want to have that for something like an LED sensor, but for my thermistor uh, it provides uh, The half of, other half of the voltage divider that gives our temperature signal. So since the pull-up resistor is pulling our signal, P0 in this case, up to 5 volts, we connect the temperature sensor, the thermistor, between P0 and ground so that it's pulling the signal down towards ground. So now we have a voltage divider circuit between the pull-up resistor and our temperature sensor. Now I've added a second temperature sensor, one of the more popular digital temperature sensors, the Dallas DS18. The red wire, the power is connected to 5 volt. The signal, yellow, is connected to P1. And the ground is connected to the ground terminal. I've got two temperature sensors connected. First of them, first one with just two wires is this simple 10K thermistor type. And that's connected to port zero. And the second one is a larger Dallas 18B20 type digital temperature sensor. So it's got the three connections there power, signal, and ground. Both of these are utilizing pull-up jumper on the signal. So I've already gone in and set up the uh, thermistor one, temp one there. I'm going to go ahead and set up the Dallas 18B20 now. Second part here. Don't need to clear it. Output port, no, it's an input. Analog, no, it's digital. DS18 type. And oh, yes, I'm going to use this as a park trigger. And I've already assigned temp 1. I'm going to assign this to temp 2. So this is the trigger level. So I'm just going to set the trigger level, say, 40 degrees. There's the name, we can customize it, it's based on defaults based on our parameter that we select, so I'm just going to go with that, temp 2, okay, and now that's, okay, we're done configuring that port, and here's our list of ports, the unassigned ones, and the assigned ones have the customized names here, so, we've got the ports hooked up now, so, we can't see them, we could probably make it do something, but nice to, nice to monitor it. Uh, this is the default um, idle screen the Mega Tracker with the name, the status, and the time displayed. One of my favorite commands, it's not funny to have a favorite command, is the show command. Can go in here. And I'm going to set the change the status to be temp one. Here we go. And I'm going to make this blank one be temp two. Um, well, let's make the name now be the status. Okay. 
that looks good. So now, we get press escape, get to the idle screen. You see our status is parked. It's got the time. T1 measured with the thermistor here is 24 degrees. I'll hold it between my fingers here now for a second. You should see it go up here in just a second. Here it goes up to 25. 26, so that's T1, and this is T2. So now I'm just going to use a lighter to raise the temperature of this sensor above the threshold, T2, above 40 degrees, to trigger a park event. So. And there, as soon as we set the temperature reach 40 degrees, hit a park event. That easy. Now this is a sticky event. When the temperature comes down, it will not automatically resume parking. So it's more like an alarm type function, high temperature alarm. It need to be manually reset.